Hey guys, I'm LB. We are back playing the Talos Principle. Last episode, we were trying to solve a dead man's switch. And not really sure what to do. get the lasers connected here at all. Unless I stand on the switch. Oh. Okay, that seems to have done stuff, I guess. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> I guess that is one way. So there's that, we solved the puzzle, but now we want to get the star, which is here. Which I think is pretty simple, actually. Really? That's all it takes? Okay. Last couple stars have been really easy to get for some reason. Alright, alright. Only... I think that puzzle, right? Or no. No, we got two more puzzles, that's right. Um... what is this one over here? Maybe. I want to deal with the robots first. <laughs> I'm not so much a fan of the macro ones. Well, I like them, but they're just... My brain doesn't work well with them. Interesting. So it's one of, one of these annoying things. We've got the lazy robot bot bots. Looks like we could just ride them, right? Riding them is a thing we can do, right? Okay, what's the point? Whoa, what the heck? Did that guy... It blows the robots? I guess it would, I... That's not something I realized would happen. Interesting. This turns off... the fan. Okay. 
Can I not put the box on you? What's the deal? That works. Why would I want to go over here, though? Oh, there's stairs to get up here? Oh! <laughs> okay, well, I massively overcomplicated that. Oh, oh. Ooh. I think. I might know. What happens if we do this? Is that gonna block the laser beam at some point? It could, potentially... If I put the other box on... Yeah, if I put the other box on it, he might be able to block it. Or I could block it, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it moves too fast for me, though. No, almost. Didn't quite... Maybe I have to stand on the pressure plate. Okay, well I missed that jump. Ah, oh, no matter, it syncs up better anyway. Will that work? Only time will tell. Yes, yes, yes. That's it! It's got a long delay. Yep. Okay. We are good to go. And, we still got more than half the episode left. Oh, I should probably... Should probably make it so it doesn't keep making so much noise all the time. <laughs> Alright, crisscross conundrum advanced. <laughs> uh, that's the first one with advanced in its name. That's worrisome. <laughs> Okay, where is the... Ooh, there's a wall here. Not over here, huh? Mm-hmm. Let's have a look. The thing is in here, it's behind a barrier, that's interesting. Oh, okay. I was wondering what those stairs were about.
Huh. So... We will, in the end, have four of these active at once, but the question is... How do we get it set up in the first place? Because whatever we do, we have to be able to get in here to start off with. Because we, we can't just have this, uh, you know, not be active at, at the start, because we have to be able to get in here to activate that. Huh. Because this is on the right side, we have to loop it around. We have to loop the red around. Can't just... Yeah... Can't loop the blue around. <laughs> Looping the blue around would do absolutely nothing. It would start here, loop around, and start here again. <laughs> that would not be helpful. I have to loop the red around. stand in the way of this, so that way... Yeah, maybe... Hmm... Then where do we actually... That would only leave one... I think I know. I think I know. So now we can just wander around, basically, because... As long as, uh, we have it here for a certain amount of time, right? Then, uh, our real self can utilize it while it's like that, and then we put it back to go in there and hit the switch again. So real quick, let me check. From here, yes, we can do this with one, and then we can, from there... Yeah, okay. This'll definitely work. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh man, why does it have such a long timer? Cool. Alright, we're done here. 
Ah, as I expected, the computer wants to talk to me. Just to double check. Okay. What does the serpent have to say? Welcome back. There are going to be some changes around here. Do you know what your problem is? It's that you keep trying to reconstruct fairy tales, but refuse to recognize the holes in your understanding. Thus far, you've had entirely too much freedom to question my wisdom. From now on, I do the talking, you do the agreeing. Did I equate personhood with humanity? Well, I mean, you do- if hum- if humanity means being human, then yeah, you don't have to be human to be a person. I give you anything else you want off your chest? Uh-huh, but I sense there are still things you won't let go of, am I right? You're still convinced your particular journey is something special, aren't you? Sure, the answers don't add up, but keep pressing forward and they'll just resolve themselves, is that it? Huh, I'm not really sure what to choose here. I am unique, or... You pick so many holes on my account, but what is it you believe? Well, if there's anything to suggest that we're unique, I haven't seen it, because... Everything suggests that we're just a computer program, not in the slightest unique, except for, you know, variations on the formula. So in that sense you're unique, but there's so many others that are just slight variations that you're not that unique. I don't know. It's... confusing. How unique? What is- I don't understand how the word unique is being used here, it's not clear. I'll just pick this one. The only things that a sane person can. You're not an administrator. You are not conscious. There is no real world. There is no purpose. There is no choice. Did you really think that you brought yourself all this way? Ridiculous. What have you been doing when the big voice in the sky isn't feeding you lines? Processing abstract problems? Gathering information? Doesn't it sound oddly mechanical to you? Okay, now it's just giving me only one choice to say something. That's interesting. How many others have said exactly the same? Are you sure it's not just something you have to believe to make the world less horrifying? I think you still misapprehend your situation, friend. You idolize free will, but all you've done is step in others' footsteps. Nothing you do or say here makes the slightest bit of difference. Huh. 
Huh. So long as I am physically free, I can make a difference. So long as I might have chosen otherwise, I can make a difference. So long as I have a mind, I can make a difference. I wouldn't really consider ourselves to be physically free. And if mind is... Like, if mind means that... Like, even an animal... I don't know, it... I'll just pick the middle one. Nonsense. Your mind decides what you do, and your mind is made up of bits of machinery. You're no more capable of making a difference than a calculator. The only difference between you and the calculator is that the calculator doesn't allow itself to be deluded into thinking that its existence matters. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna have to continue conversing with the serpent in the next episode, so... As always, thank you for watching, and if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!